All right, so can we get started? Any other questions before we dig in? Yes, in the back, Ms. Ashley. Um, this is quite misleading when it says understanding housing models and non-displacement strategies. To me, that means non-displacement means that the residents won't have to move out of Marin City. It doesn't mean that the buildings will still be in Marin City. There needs to be clarification of that. We don't want our buildings torn down. We don't. Right. Now, maybe some few people might, but we who live there don't want to lose our buildings. They have a lot of um, ethnicity to them and a lot of feeling to them and a lot of home home ownership uh, value to them. And eventually, we as a, as a group might be able to purchase our property as a group. Okay. And it can happen. We can be a co-op. And, and we need to talk about that rather than the displacement. And that's, you know, misleading. And I, I don't like people trying to mislead people with double meanings to their words. We need more clarification. Okay. You well, know, I, think, I don't think anybody is in um, opposition to the fact that we want no displacement, right? We want 100% return for all residents who want to return. So if I'm on the right page with that, that was the attempt. That was what was meant by non-displacement. So That's if it was unclear, I uh, we apologize for that. But we're attempting to capture what's been said in several meetings, which is residents don't want, want residents want to make sure they have the option to return. Residents do not want to be displaced. As a matter of fact, many residents hope that they don't have to even move out of their unit as rehabilitation happens. That's right. So I think, you know, so I apologize if non-displacement was unclear. But our, our goal was not to mislead. Our goal was to attempt to capture what's been happening in the meetings. Okay? I still say, you said it again, non-displacement is that the people won't have to lose their places or that we won't have to leave. But it doesn't mean that we won't have to lose our places, our tall buildings. Right. You see so, what I'm saying? Yes, I do. I so mean, I hear, I, I hear, I hear both ends of that. And so part of what I think, so displacement is what potentially can happen to the people. So that's one of the things right. that we're trying to make sure it doesn't happen right. to the people, right? I'm talking about And then the about the buildings, it really boils down to where, where the working group lands in terms of recommendations. So if we land on a recommendation that says buildings stay the same height, they are only, they're not modernized, but they're brought to 21st century standards. That's really not my call. I'm here to help facilitate getting to that decision, but that's not my I, call. I so realize I think, that, but you know, we want to keep our buildings. I understand. And that. I want that to be clear. I, I think that is clear. I think for me, not being from Marin, when you say we, it doesn't mess. I don't know if that includes everyone in the room. Either. Everybody who lives in public housing, tall buildings. And low rise. Excuse me. I stand corrected, Ms. McNamara. All right, so let's get into our two questions. 